Uh, in today's video, I'm just going to show you how to uh, use a for loop. Okay, so uh, there are two different types of loop in Python, uh, and uh, the for loop is just one of them. Uh, and what's important to remember about a for loop is you use it when you know how many times you want the computer to loop. All right, so if you know how many times you want the computer to loop, uh, then use a for loop. So, for example, when we drew the triangles or the squares, uh, we knew how many sides a triangle had and how many um, sides a square had, so we used a for loop because we knew how many times we wanted to loop. Okay, so uh, what does a for loop look like? Well, uh, we start by writing for in lowercase. Uh, for is a keyword, uh, so the computer should turn it blue. All right, and uh, you need to make sure that it's all in lowercase. All right, now uh, the next part of the for loop is a variable. Now the variable is going to be used. Um, oh, in fact, it's easier if I kind of give you an analogy. Uh, so if, if I said to you, um, stand up and spin round on the spot. Okay, and I said spin round on the spot twenty times. Probably you would need to, either in your head or under your breath, you would need to count. Uh, you would need to keep a, a total. How many times have you spun round? Okay, so you go one, two, three. All right, and the computer is exactly the same. So uh, when you tell a computer to loop, you're going to tell it how many times to loop. Um, but the computer needs to uh, store how many times, uh, how many loops it's completed. Okay, so um, we're going to use a variable here. Now you can call a variable whatever you want. Um, but I'll call it x in this case, okay? So for x in range, okay? Now in and range are both keywords, so again, they need to be written exactly as I've written them on, the, on here, okay? And then this is the important bit. So in the brackets, we're going to tell the computer how many times you want it to loop, okay? So in this case, I'm going to loop uh, 10 times, all right? Now, uh, what we then do, what's really important to remember, and this is all about the syntax, so make sure you get the syntax correct, is that um, at the end of that line we need to put a colon okay now uh, you are now going to tell the computer how uh, what you want sorry you've told the computer how many times you want it to loop you said 10 times now you're going to tell the computer what you want it to loop now everything that you want the computer to loop all the instructions that you want the computer to loop to do over and over again you've got to indent okay so you'll notice that I've got an indent so it doesn't line up before it's indented okay so what am I going to do I'm just going to print all right hello world so this is going to print hello world 10 times all right so if we uh, if we just run this what we should see is it prints hello world 10 times okay now I just want to show you I'm going to change this so rather than print hello world I'm going to change it so it prints X all right because I said that X is used for the computer to remember how many times it's looped so it knows you know how many loops it is done all right, so one loop, two loops, three loops. So I'm just going to show you X, and you're going to see that that's what X does, okay? There you go, okay? So there's uh, X, uh, just showing you that it's remembering how many times it's looped, okay? Now, what's important to remember here, so we've got four X in range 10, all right? It's going to start at zero and go up to nine. Now, that's it's printed 10 numbers, all right? But it's got started from zero. Uh, that's why it only goes to nine. Okay, now uh, I could also use x. So because I know that x um, is going to be is going to store the numbers zero to nine, I can use it to do interesting stuff. So um, this is a, a little thing that you can do in Python, which is quite fun. Uh, so I can go uh, multiply it by hello. All right. Uh, now if, if I run this, this is quite a fun little thing. There you go. You see. So the first time it does zero times hello, so it doesn't give me hello at all. For, uh, next time it does one times hello, two times hello, three times hello, four times hello five times hello and so on. All right, so that's how to use a for loop. Thanks for watching.